What's up you guys? Welcome back to 8482 Tutorials. Um, I recently had a request for a tutorial on how to actually customize motion graphics uh, in Premiere Pro. So depending on where you're downloading these motion graphics, we got plenty of tutorials uh, on this channel on how to actually install motion graphics and the best places to install them in your project. This video is going to give you a general overview of how to customize um, all of these. Now each one's going to be slightly different. Uh, so, you know, it's going to just be important to pay attention as I go through and show you exactly how to uh, change the settings within these motion graphics templates. So here's a cool one, cinematic shatter title. Um, it looks like, you know, this is a motion graphics template where we can download quickly and change the text. So as you can see, it quickly downloaded. I'm gonna right click and open it by pressing show in folder. Right click again and press extract. And once I've extracted it, I can come to Premiere Pro and by clicking in the bottom right, I can install the motion graphics template. I'm gonna be coming to my downloads folder um, and opening the cinematic shatter titles, and there it is. I see my motion graphics template. I'm gonna highlight that and press open. And if you guys, if that was a little too fast, um, I'm gonna throw up a card here so you guys can watch a separate tutorial on just how to install the motion graphics template. And once you're a master at that, um, this tutorial is gonna be really helpful for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and Make sure my essential graphics panel is open. I'm in the browse section and I can search for cinematic. If you guys don't see that, you can come up to window. You can click on workspaces. You can come to graphics. Uh, that's gonna be specific to working with graphics. Or you can just come to window and make sure that your essential graphics panel is highlighted. As you can see here, it is for me and that's why this is popping up. All right, so let's say I wanted to put this kind of motion graphics template right here. I recently recorded a tutorial on an iPhone. That's what you're seeing to the left. And we want to add some text. So I'm going to drag this title. I'm going to place it directly over on the fourth layer of this project. Depending on your computer's speed, it will take some time to load the motion graphic. Once you drag it over on the fourth layer, as you can see, uh, it's kind of, you know, not too pretty. We might need to move it around. Ideally, we would remove the black box so the titles could just be there. Hopefully, we could change the color, et cetera, et cetera. But um, we need to see what we can actually do. Now, if you're working with templates, each template's going to be different. So make sure you go from the browse category on essential graphics to the edit panel. And as you can see, um, this motion graphics template has various text within it. So it looks like we have our slide one control, slide two control, slide three control, all the way to five. And then we have this panel that says other FX. So your job is going to be to open up these different um, sections, these different effects panels, and actually look and see what what's going on here. All right, so I'm gonna start with the other effects panel, and I'm going to look at the options that I have. All right, so it looks like the background color is this shadow. All right, I'm guessing that that's the shadow of the text. So if I did wanna change that, let's say we wanna make it a bright yellow. I'm going to press OK, and we can see it's actually not. It's this top kind of background. Now, the second background color we could change. Let's say we want to make it a hot pink. Boom, that's going to change the entire background, if you can see that. All right. You can set these um, both back to black for the sake of this tutorial. Now, the next thing is the particle color. All right, we have the option here to turn the particles on and off. Let's actually make this full screen so you can see it a little bit better. And I'll increase the size of it a little. All right, so you can see these, these particles, these red particles. 
I have the ability to actually click on that and change the color. Let's say I want to make the particles yellow. Well, I could do that. Now all the particles have changed colors. Or I could check this uh, box and turn them all off. Okay. And then also, you know, scratches. I could turn on and off. Um, and I assume that's going to be within the title, you know, as it it has various scratches, just as it had particles, depending on the transition. All right. So let's say you wanted to change the flare or you wanted to change, you know, the the background so that it was transparent. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this graphics template is going to allow us to do that. If they did, there would be a BG on and off. Uh, checkbox here that we could select or deselect but there isn't so depending on the graphics template again you're going to be limited to what you can change so let's go ahead and open up slide control one because it says uh, cinematic titles here and we can watch as they kind of you know come in and um, we can we can change this so it looks like we can change the text uh, we got line one, we got line two. I'm going to change this to uh, motion graphics template. All right, and we can see what that does. All right, as you guys can see, um, just by coming in on the edit tab over the O1 control, we can change the text of um, text line one corresponds to the first line text two correspond to the second line as you guys can see there and we can also change the font it looks like so if we wanted to make this uh, bebas kai for example um, we could change both fonts it's really nice when your motion graphics templates allow you to change fonts and let's go ahead and scroll down here Looking at the position of the text, um, the text X is going to allow you to change the text left to right. Text Y is going to be up and down. And the scale, of course, is going to allow you to change it to be smaller or bigger. So if we wanted to make it 66, for example, um, once that loads, the text would be, as you can see, a lot smaller. All right, we can put that back to 100. All right, now looking at the other effects, um, we have the flare on or off. As you guys can see, there's a flare here. We can go ahead and de-check that, and you can see what it would look like, right? Um, now you have options for the flare. You can change the position of the flare. X is going to move it left or right. Position Y is going to move it up and down. And the color offset, we can see what that does. Um, it's going to, you know, legitimately change the color of the flare. And you can change the color here as well. All right. Now, since those are all the effects for our um, text one, I assume that those are going to be the same for text two. And they're the exact same. All right. So as you guys can see, if we just moved forward on this motion graphics template, that we brought in. There's multiple frames of text that kind of transition in included in this template. As you guys can see um, from watching the preview template directly from Motion Array. Okay, so that is how you're going to easily import and completely customize a template. I will be going over different templates uh, within this YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe, check out future videos. Each template's going to be slightly different. If you guys do happen to download a template from any online service uh, and are having trouble, drop it in the comments below. We'll be happy to help you uh, answer any questions and actually take a look at that template and record a separate tutorial on it. All right. Have a great one.